Hi everyone, I'm at my local 99 cent store and I'm gonna do a bunch of errands today. And I wanna know if the Gesu FT3D will be able to record and track my uh, whereabouts. Now, the great thing about the FT3D is that it has a built-in GPS and it can record um, its tracking uh, via a log file that is recorded into the SD card. With that SD card, you can convert it into an XML file, and then you can use a program to tell you where you where you where you've been. Okay, so let me show you the settings that you're going to need to do to make the uh, FT3D track you. Okay, so let's talk about how to configure the FT3D so that you can record GPS data. You're gonna need an SD card into the machine to watch a video on how to do that. Uh, to format it, you click on and hold display and then click over here where it says SD card and then do the formatting, okay? Uh, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna turn on the GPS. To do that, you go to APRS and then you go to number 20 and it says GPS power you click on display to enter and then turn it on right and you can go back and the next thing you want to do is you want to how many times do you want the GPS to log that information so you can go to configure and number seven GPS log you can hit enter or for display. I have it for every second. And so this is, it's going to be very detailed in terms of uh, where I am. You can also change it to two seconds, five seconds, 10. Probably, of course, um, the more seconds you do, the more likely you're going to spend more energy in writing that to the card. But that's going to be up to you where you want it. I want one second so that uh, it tracks me every single move I do. Okay. And so when you turn on the uh, satellite, that might blink and then it becomes solid. So you have a satellite icon, you have a log, which means it's writing to the card, and then you have um, the SD icon. Okay. So you have all those things. Uh, I'm at the, uh, right now I'm at the local 99 cent store. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive around, do my errands and see um, if it did it. Okay, I just reached my final destination over here at the mall. This is in the city of Long Beach. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the log and it won't write anymore then let's go back home and convert the log file into an xml file and then put it into a program that shows me uh, where i went okay see you back home so i'm back home i took out the sd card put it into the computer and this is the file structure on the sd card here is an FT3D folder, GPS log. And down here, you'll see that there are two, three, four, five logs for this particular trip. It created many because it was sampling the GPS data every second. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these four into the first one. And I just copy and paste it and it has one big file. So all the data is there. If you look very closely, there are these tags that the GPS unit apparently uh, provides. And I found out that these tags belong to the N NMEA uh, sentence information. Our NMEA is some standard. And these tags, apparently tell you different things. So 
If I copy one of these tags here, the GPRMA, let's see which one's that. RMA, yes. Recommended minimum specified GPS transit data. So one thing I can go is I can go over here to this website, the GPRMC, GP, GGA decoder. So it could decode one line at a time. I'll put this link on the description. And if I click on decode, it tells me a couple of things. Look at that. That's where I was. So here's the GPS coordinates, the timestamp, Sunday. Wow, 25th of August, even the UTC time, Hawaiian, Gar Hawaiian Gardens, local time, and then uh, America, Los Angeles. Hmm, interesting. And let's see, let's pick another one, uh, like this one. This one is GPGGA, GP. Uh, GGA, uh, uh, GP, GG, this one, GP, GGA, Global Positioning System Fixed Data. Okay, if we put that information in here and decode, takes me to the same place, but it gives you different information tells me even the city here, Hawaiian Gardens, which satellite was used, the position, and so forth, and the time. Okay, but that would be a lot of information to decode one by one. So there's an easier way of doing this, and there's a thing called GPS to GPX. I found a, um, a way to convert the GPS data into something called GPX format. Apparently, it is, in, is an XML file that allows other programs, third-party applications, to utilize the GPS data in a organized fashion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, I want GP, GPX data. I'm going to choose the file. I'm going to go to desktop. Uh, here's the log file. Choose that, and I'm going to convert. And it's converting. I'm going to close this. And with a little movie magic, it will appear. OK, there it is. And then we're going to click to download. Awesome. We are definitely going to need that information. And then I'm using a Mac right now, and there's a program called Track. And this is the only program so far that I've found that uh, will, will utilize this uh, GPX data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for, so I, I open Track. It's telling me open a file. And there it is. I am. Aha! And there it is. Look at that. Let's put it on full screen. Is it here somewhere? Uh, there it is, full screen. Okay. So, let's see. I think we can start over here. It's 11.49 a.m. And we started over here. You can see, let's do that 3D view. And you can see I started over here at the 99 cent store. And I'm going to play. And I was there for a little while talking. And I also, also was shopping. Eventually, the time will be so that I start moving. You can see that I will move. And there I am moving along. And I stopped right here. And I'm going to pause. And I'm trying to remember 
why I stopped here. I'm going to zoom in. All right. Oh, yes, I remember now. <laughs> so I went to the car wash. So I was there for a little while. Right. And you can see it's around this point at about 12, almost 1230, 1220. I was at the car wash and I was vacuuming the car and so forth and then zoomed away. And I guess those little stops are little periods of time. Then here, and I'm gonna, let's go back. I'm gonna pause here. Uh, there's a place over here where I paused. So here I stopped the car and that's because I'm trying to figure out APRS and I, it wasn't transmitting. I still don't understand some of the some of the intricacies of it but i was there just near park and i was just trying to figure things out okay and then i keep going and i'll stop at this taco place so i got some tacos uh drive through and then i stopped here and i was like okay i'm going and i'm going to pause right now so um oh well we can we can do something like this so i was there and we can of course we can move a little bit closer while well, at that here are the buildings so i was on paramount near sixth street and i was just parked there and let's continue moving on let's move on Right? I was just there, eating, trying to figure out what's going on. And then, oops, <laughs> that was fast. Every time it pauses, I guess I stopped the car for a light. And let's keep going. Driving along on the freeway. There's nothing to stop you on the freeway. Keep going. Get off at Carson and bam. That's where I stopped the car. And that is in Hawaiian Gardens. That's the Long Beach Town Center. Look like at that. And I parked my car right there. And then did, did some shopping. All right, I hope that was helpful. Bye-bye.